Lesson 73 is on multiplying and dividing signed numbers. Let's just do a couple of examples here. Let's work with 4 times 3. Now, if you had just a positive 4 times a positive 3, you know that that would be a positive 12. What if you had a negative 4 times a negative 3? Well, that also equals a positive 12. Now, that might seem kind of strange, but if you think about your concept of opposites like we've been talking about, you have two negative signs there. And so you can think of this as the opposite of the opposite of 4 times 3. That's another way to consider that problem. The opposite of the opposite of 12, you know that that would be a positive 12. So that's why you can do that. Now try this one where you have one of the signs is negative and the other one is positive. Negative 4 times positive 3. Well, just think about that. You could have 1, 2, 3 groups of negative 4. Isn't that the same thing? You're saying negative 4 times a positive 3. 3 groups of negative 4, that would be a negative 12 if you added all of those together. So anytime you multiply two numbers that have opposite signs, your answer is going to be negative. If you had positive 4 times a negative 3, just think of that, you could have four groups of negative 3 each. And so you have, again, a negative 12. Remember these rules for multiplying and dividing signed numbers. When you have same signs, you get a positive product. When you have different signs, you get a negative product. And what I'm talking about there is when you're multiplying pairs of factors together. That doesn't go for three or more factors. That's just for multiplying pairs of factors. If they both have the same sign, your product is positive. If they both have different signs, your product is negative. Now, the same rules apply for division as well. If you had plus 6 over plus 2, you know that that would equal a positive 3. If you had plus 6 over negative 2, that is equal to a negative 3. Now remember, multiplication undoes division. If we had 6 divided by a negative 2 equals a negative 3, we can understand why that is by undoing the division, by doing multiplication of minus 2 times minus 3. The opposite of the opposite of minus 2, or the opposite of the opposite of 2 times 3 gives you a 6. So to understand why the division works the way it does with the signed numbers, you can do multiplication to undo it, and that will help you. Lastly, if you had two negative numbers, you get a positive answer. Undoing that division, minus 2 times a positive 3 would give us a negative 6. That's why when you divide two negative numbers, you get a positive result. You can understand it if you do the multiplication to undo that division problem. So, in division, you can just think of those two rules that I have there and change the word product out with quotient. If you have the same signs, you get a positive quotient. If you have different signs, you get a negative quotient. doesn't matter if the negative sign, when you have different signs, if the negative is on top or bottom, if it's in the numerator or denominator, you still get a negative quotient. Now that you know about multiplying and dividing sign numbers, why don't you go ahead and do these problems here. Let's go ahead and pause the CD and see if you can work them all, and then turn the CD back on and check your answers. On A, you have different signs, so your answer will be negative 24. On B, you have the same sign, so your answer will be a positive 36. You don't have to put the plus sign down for positive answers. It's understood that it's there. 
on C, negative 5 times positive 3, different signs, your answer is negative. D, different signs, so your answer will be negative, negative 3. You can undo the division to check your answer, do negative 7 times negative 3, that equals a positive 21. You can always check your work that way on these. On E, you have a negative 18 over a positive 3, different sign, so your answer is negative, negative 6. On F, same signs, so your answer will be positive 3. And on G, different signs. On the bottom, you don't have a plus sign, but you know that's a positive 4, because it's just understood if there's no sign there, it's a positive. So the answer is negative 3. In multiplication or division, when you're working with pairs of numbers, different signs give you a negative result. Same signs give you a positive result. Okay, well that's all for lesson 73.